Ever wondered how to create dynamic and reusable prompts in Langchain? By the end of this video, you'll be crafting them like a pro. Today we are diving into one of the most powerful features of Langchain. This is going to be a game changer for your projects. Stick around to find out why. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of what prompt templates are, why we use them, and how they can revolutionize the way you interact with language models. So what exactly are prompt templates? Simply put, prompt templates are predefined structures or patterns that we use to generate specific prompts for our language models. These templates help us in standardizing the way we interact with our models, so we ensure consistency and accuracy. There are several reasons why prompt templates are essential. Number one, consistency. Prompt template ensure that our prompts follow a consistent format, making it easier for the language model to understand and process the inputs. Two, efficiency. By reusing the templates, we save time and efforts. Instead of crafting a new prompt from scratch every time, we can simply fill in the blanks in our template. Three, scalability. As our application grows, maintaining a large number of prompts can become really cumbersome. So templates help us in managing this complexity by centralizing the prompt logic. And number four, customization. Templates allow for easy customization and adapting to different contexts or user inputs. This makes our language model more flexible and responsive. So there are different kinds of prompt templates in Langchain. One prompt template, just like that. This is the basic and the most simplistic form of prompt template. It will allow you to create a template with placeholders that can be filled in with specific values. The second one is chat prompt template. And this template is designed for chat-based interactions. It allows you to structure a conversation with role like human AI system, make making it perfect for chatbot kind of applications. Three, this is most interesting one, few shot prompt template. So the few shot learning is a powerful technique where you provide some examples to guide your model's responses. This template helps you set up such examples very easily. Instead of writing and doing all the cumbersome job by yourself, you can structure it nicely by, by utilizing the few shot prompt template. Four, message prompt template. So in this template, you can define the message templates that your AI or human prompts are going to use. So instead of using static messages, you can have dynamic prompt template messages over there. And we are going to have code examples for each and everything. So wait till the section where we are going to discuss code examples for all of these. Now let's talk about how do we create and use these prompt templates in Langchain. We'll cover the basic steps and some best practices. So step one is you define your template. You start by deciding what your template should look like and you identify the placeholders you need for the dynamic content. Step two is you create the template. You use the appropriate Langchain class to create your template. For example, for very basic prompt template, you might just want to use prompt template. And then you fill in the blanks. When you need to generate a prompt, you fill in the placeholders with specific values for your use case. And then as the last step, you invoke the model and you pass the generated prompts to your language model to get the response back. And that's a wrap on the prompt templates in Langchain. I hope now you have a solid understanding of what prompt templates are, why they are important, and how to use them. All right, so all the theory section is done, and we are ready to dive into programming. And in programming section, we are taking five examples, and they will progressively build upon the previous examples. So keep watching till the end, and you're really gonna enjoy how the progressively increasing programming examples are gonna build upon your knowledge of prompt templates in Langchain. In this very first example, we are going to walk through a Python script that uses the Langchain library to generate a joke using a language model. And we'll break down each line of code so you can understand exactly what's happening. Let's get started. So 
step one is to open the terminal because we are not in our right conda environment let's switch to the conda environment conda activate lang chain env which is what we created in our last introduction tutorial so please refer to that uh, and now we are in our correct lang chain environment second we make, need to make sure that our requirements.txt file has uh, correct requirements over here. These two are sufficient for now. Step three, we have to create a new file and we'll call it pt01.py. Name doesn't matter. I'm just following a structure over here, prompt template 01. And we'll start by importing the prompt template class from the langchain code prompts module. So, this class helps us in creating and formatting the prompts for our language model. And next, we'll create a prompt template using the from template. The template we are using is tell me a joke about and you can see the placeholder content. The content placeholder will be replaced with the specific topic when we format the template. Step three is to actually format the template. So here we format our template by passing the string chickens to the content placeholder, as you can see. The format method replaces content with chickens, resulting in the message, tell me a joke about chickens. We then print this message to see the formatted prompt. Right, so let's, let's run this and see what happens. So in order to run this, we'll do Python and the name of the file, which is pt01.py. And let's run it. And it shows you this is the prompt that we have. This is the simplest prompt template example, which showcases how you can put a placeholder message and you can format the prompt on the runtime. Now, if you want to run this particular prompt, um, we can simply use our langchain community LLMs, right? So let's let's uh, run this prompt now. We import the Olama class from langchain community LLMs module, and this class allows us to interact with the specific language model we want, right? So today we're gonna we're gonna use the Open Herms um, model, uh, and we initialize an instance of uh, Olama class by, spe by specifying the model we want to use. And in this case, uh, open Herms is what I'm using today. And then we have to invoke the model, right? So we invoke the model. Finally, we use the invoke method to send our formatted message to the language model. The model processes our prompt and generates a response, which we then print out. And this response is the joke about the chickens as generated by our open Herms model. So let's run this now. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to run this file and it is going to print the message over here. That is it. Um, let's go to the second example now. In the second example, we are going to look at a Python script that uses a chat template with the Langchain library to simulate a conversation with an AI bot. We'll go through each line of code to understand how it works. Let's dive in. Since we are already having our Langchain environment correctly, we have to create a new file over here and I'll choose PT02 in our case. Um, and let's start writing our code. So we begin by importing the chat prompt template from Langchain Core Prompts module. And this class helps us in creating and formatting the prompts for a chat bot conversation. Next, we create a chat template. And we do that using the from messages method. This method takes a list of message tuples where each tuple contains a role, system, human, or AI and the corresponding message for them. The system message sets the context while the human and AI messages simulate parts of conversation. Note the placeholder's name and user input. We'll replace these placeholders with actual values later on. Next, we have to format the chat template. So here we format our chat template by passing values for the placeholders. 
we set the AI bot's name to Bob and the user input to what is your name. The format message method replaces the placeholder with these values, creating a formatted chat sequence for us. We then print the formatted message to see the result. So let's run this program, Python PT and uh, R says PT02. Hmm, interesting. My mistake. So let's let's save this file as a .py file. So it recognizes it as a Python program and pt02.py and let's run it. And uh, you can see the conversational message has been created now where we have a system message, human message and AI message. If we want to execute this, we can follow the same approach as we did in our previous example. So we will import olama class from langchain community llm and then we'll instantiate this particular olama and we will invoke the llm so by using the invoke method we send our formatted chat messages to the language model and the model processes the conversation and generates a response back which is what we print out on line number 18 over here. So this response is the AI bot's reply to the user's question now. So let's run this and let's see. And there you go. Uh, it says, my name is Bob. How can I help you today? Right? So we asked the question, what is your name? And in response to that, it responded with its name over here. Well, uh, thank you. There you have it. Uh, we just walked through the Python script that uses Langchain to create a chat template, formatted it with specific values, and then we generated a response from an AI bot using a language model. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of how to simulate chatbot conversations. Let's look at third example. In this third example, we'll take a look at how we can create the similar conversational messages in a more structured way. So we are going to explore another Python script that construct a conversation sequence using individual message objects from Langchain library. So we'll break down again each line of code and it will help you in understanding how it all comes together. Let's get started. We'll create another file over here for us and I'm gonna name this file as pt02b.py uh, and while we are here let's just name the first one as pt02a uh, so it's all nicely formatted for us so going back to pt02b file let's do our imports first so we begin by importing three classes now ai message human message and system message and all of the three are from Langchain core messages module. And these classes will help us in creating different types of messages for our conversation sequence. You'll take a look at it in a, in a second over here. So now let's create a system message first. In the system message, the content is you are a helpful AI bot and your name is Bob. So if you relate back to the previous, the previous Python script that we were taking a look at. We had the system message as you are a helpful AI bot. We are doing the same thing over here, but you'll notice that we are going to have system, human, AI, all these three as separate entities, right? So we have system, human, and AI messages created one by one. Step two is building the conversation sequence. So let's do that. So in the conversation sequence, you see, I kept the prompt, which is the system message straight up over here. And I'm showing you another example, how you can directly put the human message and the AI message over here. You could have created three different variables, but I chose to show you an example over here that you can have separate uh, variables created and then just inject it over here. Or you could have just taken this thing and replaced it over here so we build our conversation sequence by chaining together different message objects we start with the system message and then add a human message with the content 
hello how are you doing followed by the ai message with the response i'm doing well thanks and then finally we append the placeholder user input now the next step is formatting the conversation so let's do that so we format our conversation sequence by passing a value for the user input in this case the user's input is what is your name the format messages method replaces the placeholder with this particular input that we are providing resulting in a complete conversation we then print the formatted message sequence to see the result so let's print let's run this file python 02 um, and we have hyphen b this file's name.py and let's see so we see that the whole conversation is being formatted over here for us which is great now if we want to actually run this then again we can import the olama model and we can initialize our olama model and then we can invoke the language model by passing in the this particular message that we have and then printing it right so in this case we are going to pass the message that we created and then we are going to print the response so let's let's save this file and then let's just run this again and see what the language model returns back perfect so again same response over here now if you notice in this example we hard coded the name bob over here right so let's go back to the previous example where the system message had the name as a placeholder right and then when we were creating our message chat template dot format message we were able to pass both the name and the user input right so this was more flexible as compared to what we are passing now we have hard coded the name bob over here let's see in the next example how we can fix this and how we can use the message templates provided by langchain library to accomplish that i'll see you in the next example in this example we are going to explore a python script that construct a conversation sequence using message objects and a system message prompt template from the langchain library we'll go through each line of code again so that we understand how the code works let's get started again creating a new file over here and i'm going to name it as pt0-02 and i'm going to name it c because it's kind of extension of what we were doing earlier dot pipe and over here step one is importing our uh, prompt template classes so we start by importing ai message human message and system message we are also importing system message prompt template from the langchain code prompts this allows us to create a system message with a template and we'll see how it works we're gonna create the system message prompt template as our step one and over here the template we are using is you are a helpful ai bot your name is a placeholder so in this placeholder we are going to replace the text with the actual name later on and that's what we will see the next step is building the conversation sequence so again just like the previous example we are here building our conversation sequence by chaining together different messages and we start with the system message prompt template then add the human message to the content followed by the ai message with the response and then finally we append the placeholder user input for the user's next input our next step is to format the conversation um, which is done just like this and we format the conversation sequence by passing the value for the name and the user input placeholders both of them now in this case the ai bot's name is bob and the user input is what is your name the format messages method replaces the placeholder with these values resulting in a complete conversation we then print the formatted message just to see what the final output is over here right so let's let's save this file 
and then let's run this file. Perfect. So we can see your name is Bob got replaced over here. And this is what we wanted. So now we are more closely aligned to the very first example that we had where we were able to pass the name and the user input. And we are able to pass the name and the user input while constructing the final prompt. And this is way more structured and nicer looking as compared to how we were doing it in the simple chat template over here right so we utilize three different concepts we utilize the ai message human message and system message concept we also utilize the prompt template message prompt template concept over here and then we constructed our prompts and then we were able to print it now if we want to run this again we can import the olama model and uh, just like that and we can initialize our model just like that over here and we can invoke the language model over here right so finally we use the invoke method to send our formatted conversation sequence to the language model and the model then processes the conversation generates a response which we are then printing out so this response is the ai bot's response to the user query now so let's see what what the bot comes back with so i'm going to run this program again and we get the response back to the question what is your name my name is bob how can i assist you today thank you very much um, let's go to the next example now in this example we are going to look at a python script that uses few short learning with langchain library we'll create a prompt template with examples and we'll see how it generates a single word response using a language model. Let's break down each line of code together over here. So I'll create a file pt03 this time and let's name it hyphen a dot py and step one always imports. We begin by importing chat prompt template and few short chat message prompt template. Both of these are from Langchain Core Prompts module, and these classes help us in creating chat-based prompt templates and few short learning examples. Step two is defining our examples. So let's do that. In this step, we define a list of examples. Each example is a dictionary with an input and an output key. These examples will be used to teach the model how to respond to similar inputs. Step three is creating a prompt template for each example. Here we create a prompt template for each example using the from messages method. This method takes a list of message tuples where each tuple contains a role, human or AI, and the corresponding message. The input and output placeholders will be replaced with the actual values from our examples. Next, let's create the few shot prompt template. We are using the few shot chat message prompt template class. We pass in our example prompt and the list of examples. This few shot template will use the provided examples to generate the responses based on the pattern it has learned. Now we have to assemble the final prompt. We assemble the final prompt using the from messages method of the chat prompt template. We start with a system message that sets the context, which is you are a scientist and only respond back with single word answers. We then include our few short prompts at the end with a placeholder for user's input. Now let's format and print the message. So we format our final prompt by passing a dictionary with user's input. In this case, the input is ocean. The invoke method processes this input using the examples to generate a response. We then print the formatted message to see the result. We're just running this class now. And there is our final result. So if you want to run this same thing as last time, 
we're gonna import the olama model and then we'll initialize it and then we will invoke the language model right so finally we use the invoke method to send our formatted method to the language model and the model processes the input generates the response which we then print out over here the response is a single word answer from the ai bot right based on our few short examples that we have given it so we have told that the input sky and the output is blue so we are giving it uh, a reasoning over here the input grass and the output is green right and then we are going to ask it that hey for an input ocean what do you think the output is and let's let's run it and let's see so the ai says that the output is blue so that's it um we've just walked through a python python script that uses few shot learning to generate single word responses from a language model i hope this helps you in understanding how to use examples to guide the responses of a language model in our next video we'll dive into some llms and chains concept so please stay tuned and i'll see you next time